Okay, in this video we're going to use the power of quadratic reciprocity and the properties of the Legendre symbol to answer this question. So is there a solution to this congruence? x squared is congruent to 1247 mod 1481. So let's just recall some properties of the Legendre symbol and how it's defined, including quadratic reciprocity before we get started. So we say a by p is equal to 1 if there is a solution to x squared congruent to a mod p, and it's equal to negative 1 if there's not a solution. And now we have these simple properties of this symbol. First of all, if you have a by p times b by p, you get a b by p. And then also, if r is congruent to s mod p, then uh, r by p is equal to s by p. And then finally, we have this uh, answer to the question is 2 a quadratic residue mod p? In other words, is 2 a perfect square mod p? And the answer is yes. In other words, 1 if a p is equal to 1 or 7 mod 8 and it's negative 1 otherwise. And then we have finally our biggest tool, quadratic reciprocity, which tells us we can flip this p by q to q by p when they're both odd primes. Um, and we do not pick up a minus sign if one of them is congruent to 1 mod p, and we pick up a minus sign if they're both congruent to 3 mod p. Oh, sorry, 3 mod 4. And we have the last thing, which is quadratic reciprocity, which tells us how we can flip this Legendre symbol p by q to q by p, where p and q are both odd primes. So we don't pick up a minus sign if, they're, if one of them is congruent to 1 mod 4, and we pick up a minus sign if they're bo both congruent to 3 mod 4. So <clears throat> answering this question is equivalent to determining the value of this Legendre symbol, 1247 over 1481. So if it's plus one, then there is a solution. If it's minus one, then there is not a solution. So the first thing that we'll notice is that you can factor 1247 into 29 times 43. And so that means we can write this as 29 by 1481. And then uh, 43 by 1481. And so this is because... 1247 is 29 times 43, and we're using uh, this property right here. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is flip these at the potential cost of introducing a minus sign. So let's go ahead and flip them and then decide if we need to add in a minus sign later. So we can flip these to 1481 by 29 and 1481 by 43. But, in fact, we do not get a minus sign, and that's because 1481 is congruent to 1 mod 4. So only one of them needs to be congruent to 1 mod 4 in order to flip without a minus sign, so we only need to check that one. Okay, good. So now the next thing that we'll do is we'll reduce 1481 mod 29 and 43. So let's do that. So in this case, we're going to get 2 by 29. So that's for this one. And in the next one, we'll get 19 by 43. And so that's because uh, 1481 is congruent to 2 mod 29, and 1481 is congruent to 19 mod 43. So we did that reduction, and that was using um, this property right here. Okay, good. And now the next thing that we'll do is the following. So we're going to answer the question, is 2 a quadratic residue mod 29? And it is not, and that's because uh, 29 is not congruent to 1 or 7 mod 8. Um, so 29 is congruent to uh, 5 mod 8 because it's 5 more than 24. Good, so that means we get a minus sign from that. Good, and then we're also going to get a minus sign after flipping this to 43 by 19. And that's, uh, so we get both of those minus signs for two different reasons. Okay, so one of them we get because 29 is congruent to 5 mod 8. 
And then the other one we get because uh, 43 uh, is congruent to 19, which is congruent to 3 mod 4. So we pick up two minus signs there. Okay, good. So notice those are going to obviously cancel, and that will give us 43 by 19. Okay, good. Now we can reduce 43 by 19 as follows. So this is obviously 5 by 19. And here we've used this property again because 43 is congruent to 5 mod 19. Okay, good. And now we can flip this again. So notice this is 19 by 5. And we do not need a minus sign in this case because 5 is congruent to 1 mod 4. But now we can reduce this, and then this is equal to 4 by 5. Good. And now we're down to one that we can, like, answer the question easily. So this is, like, obviously equal to 1, and that's because 2 squared equals 4. In other words, 4 is obviously a perfect square, so that means 4 is a quadratic residue mod uh, 5. And so what we get, is there a solution to this? Yes, there is a solution to this. And in fact, um, I'll fit it in right here. We can check uh, via computer. You wouldn't really want to check this by hand. You can check via computer that plus or minus 568 squared is congruent to 1247 uh, mod 1481. And so that's your solution. Okay, this is the end of the video.